Hello, I'm Troy Bockelman with the Cattlefax Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. The Parasite Control Portfolio from Zoetis gives you the flexibility you need. Backed by reliable science and quality manufacturing, you can be confident that Dectomax and Valbazin will consistently control internal and external parasites. Learn more at getlessparasites.com. There was moderate fed cattle cash trade this week at $107 per hundredweight. This would be fully $2 higher than last week. The cash market is expected to continue to trend higher through November as the weekly show lists continue to get into better shape each week. Basis is starting to converge as the futures market traded sideways to lower the throughout the week. From Thursday to Thursday, December live cattle lost just shy of 50 cents to close at $111.83 on Thursday. The beef market has shown a little strength this week. From Thursday to Thursday, choice box beef increased $1.50 per hundredweight. Box beef is expected to continue to trade steady to stronger into the peak holiday demand buying period. In the first four weeks of the corn market year, ethanol production was 7% below a year ago, and last week ethanol stocks were down 15% below a year ago as COVID continues to disrupt travel and resulting demand. This week, the USDA released the grain stocks report. Corn stocks for September 1st, 2020 in all positions were estimated at 1.995 billion bushels, nearly 250 million bushels below industry expectations. This occurred as the USDA revised the June 1st stocks down 205 million bushels. As the report was released, the market responded with higher prices. December corn futures moved 20 cents higher on Wednesday and Thursday and closed at $3.83 a bushel on Thursday, the highest level since February. Corn stocks to use will likely remain in a comfortable position, yet the decreased stocks will tighten expected stocks to use by close to 2%. The next major corn report is the October WASD and will be released on Friday the 9th. Corn prices are now expected to remain in the same practical range of $3.50 to $4 a bushel that the market has been in for the last five years. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.